What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Of course, this is TWA Motorsports and today, wheels. Yes, we got a new set of wheels and tires for this truck. And guys, we are gonna be putting those on today. I'm really excited about it because it's gonna massively change the difference in the looks of this truck. And no guys, the green truck is not broken. Um, got uh, some more stuff coming that's gonna, you're gonna see why the green truck's on the trailer. Um, it's more for room. Okay, so anyway, today we've got a couple things to do here. In the last couple videos, guys, we've done a lot of cleanup. You can see there's still some dings and whatnot in this truck, but it's not gonna be perfect. And it's starting to look a lot better though. We took all the trim off, we took the pinstriping, we put white door handles on. Still gotta get my mirror caps painted. Uh, that's a pearl. I'm gonna get this piece painted. Obviously we got, we got lots of stuff to go. But anyway, today, um, Kind of following up on the coattails of the last video before we get onto the wheels, guys, we replaced the tumbler, right? So we um, rebuilt the tumbler on this thing. That's on the list too, remember I keep saying that. But uh, in the last video, we we uh, rebuilt the tumbler. And guys, I've never done that. I mean, I've, I've seen it done, I've replaced tumblers, but I've never rebuilt one. So we have the original key here and it looks really, really worn. So what, what you do, what I'm going to attempt to do is I got a new key cut and it looks a lot better. Uh, I'm going to see if that kind of fixes our hang up. We still got a little bit of a hang up, nothing like what we had before. So what you need to do is we need to turn this key to that position, right? Now we need to take this one out to program the new one. Oh yeah, that, that may not work. <laughs> It didn't want to turn. Well, that tells me what I need to know. We're going to have to get a key cut, I'm guessing, based off the VIN. Oh, there we go. So you need to do this until the buzzer quits. Okay, so now we have no buzzer. About 10 seconds. That programs that key. I don't know how you ha you don't, may not have to do that, guys, but um, the dealer told me that I'd be a good idea. So let's see if this thing even starts it. I can tell you for sure it doesn't work as good as the other key. It's interesting. Well, see how that one starts it? Okay, so it just takes a second to program. But I will tell you that other key works better. This one fits better. I think maybe we can just file it. And we may have to replace an ignition um, since we've already done this. We may just have a hang up in the ignition switch. We'll see down the road. All right, that's that. Got another key at least. I don't know why the uh, buzzer's still going off. That makes me think there's something wrong with the ignition. Yeah, we got some work to do there. All right, anyway, let's get these wheels on, guys. I wanna show you what I got because these tires, you can almost see the air in them on the front. They're so thin, <laughs> which means we probably need an alignment and that's gonna be happening. We're gonna drop this truck, so I'd really like to wait, uh, but I had to get the wheels first, uh, just because if we wanted to drive it, I don't, I don't feel safe with my son driving anyway. But this is what we chose to go with, guys, a 22 inch Texas edition replica. Um, man, these, these wheels, in my opinion, guys, look really, really good on white. Uh, you've seen me use them in the past. I use them on my gray crew cab. Um, I really kind of wanted to go to a 24, but guys, the more I drive on our highways with the potholes and all the stuff, a 24, man, that's going to take you down to like next to zero tread. And it's not like these have a ton of tread either. Um, and I've, I've chosen to use a cheapy brand of tire. Um, the size guys, 220 or sorry, 265, 40, 22. Uh, this is a 22 by 9 inch wheel, and I'll list this in the description down below if you guys want to pick some of these up. But uh, one of the things we're going to have to do is we're going to have to swap our lug nuts because those have a cap that covers your lug nuts, obviously, and 
these I don't think will fit behind the cap and they're ugly and beat up. So we've got a new set of lug nuts over there, but let's get this thing off the ground because I am really excited. I've had these for a couple days. It's unlike me to not put them on immediately. I've had them in the last two videos on this thing that I've done, but um, let's get them on because I'm excited to see it. Now these wheels don't look terrible, but man, they're, the tires are completely toast. To be honest with you, the lug nuts look like crap too. See how long those lug nuts are? You'll see here in a minute what I've chosen to replace it with. And they're rusty. Definitely not the factory ones. Now, I am not one of those guys that generally likes to buy directional tires. Our new tires, guys, are unfortunately directional. Um, man, this truck is pretty clean. Just the surface rest on the frame, but it's it's pretty clean. Look at that boot. Holy cow. We'll be replacing that stuff. But let's get our first wheel. And get it up in place. Man, I'm telling you guys, just a set of wheels. You could put a set of wheels on the ugliest vehicle in the world and make it look better. Woo! Fitment's good. Guys, this is a, uh, I think, plus 30 or plus 31 offset. Pretty standard fitting for these trucks. Okay, so lug nuts. Look at the difference here. In the past, when I've ran these wheels, trying to use the factory lug nuts look at the difference in height okay so i'm using an open-ended lug nut because our studs don't get to the point where it's a problem it's the end of the lug nut so if you tried to put this on your center cap's not going to go in so i picked these up off amazon i'll list them down below just a open-ended um m14 by 15 that is the factory size on these trucks it does need to obviously be the same um 60 degree Fitment as far as the um, this guy right here, like the acorn style, as they call it. But once we get these on, we'll get them snug down, and then I'll set the truck down. I'm only doing one at a time here until I get to the back. Uh, we'll set the truck down and torque these things down. I generally don't like. To, I'll use my impact to run them snug but I don't like to hammer down with my impact. I'd rather use the torque wrench to get the torque that I want. You can see I'm not hammering on it. Just getting it snug. Now let's set it down. We'll torque this one. Um, and then we'll put the center cap on. Now 140 is what these things go to. I know that seems like a lot. And it is quite a bit. Moving the whole truck. I like to go in a crisscross pattern. Here's what else I like to do. I like to do it twice to make sure that we're good. Sometimes you get a little bit of additional swing on the second pass. So now, these generally do fit a certain way. You see this big cutaway right here? That fits in an opening right there. So we need to line that up. Well, 
Maybe that's not the opening I'm thinking it is. Yeah, it is. Just being stubborn. There we go. Nice. All right, let's step back and take a look at it compared to the back one. Look at that difference. I mean, guys, if you don't like this look over that, um, I don't know, you may be on the wrong channel, honestly. Anyway, I'm gonna knock out the other ones. I won't bore you guys with watching me put them on. Uh, same situation though, I'm gonna go all the way around. Like I said, this tire is a directional, so make sure that your tire direction is going the right way. It'll say on the tire if they are. And uh, then I guess, guys, we will step back and take a look at what we've got once we're all finished up. It is definitely looking different, guys. I, I love it, love it. It's gonna look even better when we get this thing dropped, that is for sure. I mean, look, does it have its little dings and mars and whatnot? Absolutely, but it, man, it just fits the bill. It's, it's gonna be a cool truck. But, okay, so getting after getting the wheels on, generally, guys, on these newer models, you have to program the TPMS sensors, right? So um, I always buy a new set anytime I buy wheels or tires. It's just do it while you're in there. That way you don't have to two months in you know, rely on the old batteries that were in the ones before if you're switching them over and whatnot. The old wheels and tires I had that are over there now, um, they did have them in there and they did work. I just didn't trust them. And uh, so I ordered new ones. They're about a hundred bucks and I'll list those in the description down below and that's for all four. But normally you'd have to have a tool like this. This is a cheaper one I picked up off Amazon. I will tell you guys, don't store the nine volt battery in this. It will eat it up overnight. But normally you would go into the driver information center, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to add that. Um, go to the reset or the tire pressures, you'd hit the relearn and then you would start here. Uh, the horn would honk, you'd start here, it would chirp again, you'd go to the other side, and then the back, and then this one last. However, my tire guy has the ability to program these while they're out. So he did that while he was mounting them, so I don't, we don't have any issues. And I actually just took it down the road and came back for a couple reasons. One, I wanted to make sure, um, obviously, we didn't have any crazy out of balance. He said they balanced really well, and he spoke balanced them. If you guys have ever heard of a spoke balance, they put the weights behind the spoke so you don't look through and see those. Kind of a neat thing that tire shops do have the ability to do sometimes they don't want to do it so uh but either way we we've got it all done um if you have to have one of these like i said they're relatively cheap i want to say they're like 15 bucks uh, there may be a little higher now i think it was like 15 when i bought it but i use it on a lot of stuff it works on newer stuff and older stuff but let me know what you guys think in the comments what do you think of this truck i i think several of you are going to be excited about making this truck uh, look a lot nicer. I may have a PDR guy pop some of the little dings out of it. I don't know. I, like I said, I, it's been painted on before, so we don't know how much filler's in it. And you don't want to get crazy with a paintless dent guy if it has a bunch of filler like in that door, for instance, because he could potentially pop out or crack the filler. Um, we'll just have to see. But ultimately, I think the next step on this, guys, is um, while I have some downtime working on some other stuff. I think I'm gonna pop the mirror caps off, get those out to my painter. I'm gonna pop this piece off and I'll show you guys a video of how that re is removed. Uh, I'd like to get this stuff painted while we're not using this truck currently because we still have the step side. So if the step side's still around, then my son will be driving it. We, we need to get to a point though where if once it sells, then this will be his new daily driver. But. If you guys did enjoy this video, please like always smash that thumbs up button. Guys, if you are not subscribed, you gotta go down there, get subscribed. Of course, while you're down there doing all that, ring that bell notification that will update you every time we drop a new video, but stay tuned to see this truck come together.